hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is joy if it's your first time here if it's your second time or you always click when you see me pop up thank you guys so much for always coming back to watch my content so as you can see by the title today i'm going to be talking about beauty trends that i would never participate in and i feel like it's such an area of concern to talk about and i just wanted to give my opinion on it so number one is microblading microblading guys i honestly feel like even though i don't have like so much eyebrows i don't know if you guys can see like i've drawn this on the reason being number one this is my exact reason for those who know makeup keeps on changing and we have seen it guys we we really had like thinner bro in the 90s yeah we had like very thinner bros and then it progressed now to people starting to do the eyebrows on flick back in 2018 like people used to do like this really massive eyebrows and i feel like then there's a time where people were embracing their natural brows so i feel like things to do with beauty usually trend to progress and they're never the same so you can be participating in a trend and then get lost in the trend and then after some time you can just ask yourself what did i do i feel like beauty trends keep on changing and i don't want to participate in that constant change of permanent things without knowing if it's gonna look good in the long run number two is because i just feel like there's so many people who have entered into microblading for money purposes and at this point it's just looking like tattoos like even the people who have them some of them they just look like they've been tattooed and it just doesn't end up looking natural you have to touch it up every now and then and if you are someone who is wanting to do this please do your research well because i've seen girls who even look good without the microblading they go and get microbladed done and all of a sudden it just switches how they look and everything like i saw a video i'm just gonna insert it here this girl on tiktok this girl got her eyebrows microbladed and she was like imagine getting your my eyebrows microbladed and regretting it instantly i got my eyebrows nanobladed and i got them removed the next day now i've been wanting microbladed brows since time like early days when i was 16 and i finally got them done but i quickly realized it changed my face and i made a mistake it has been 24 hours since i got them done and I'm already just like, nah, I don't like them. Um, I'm someone who doesn't even like to leave on lash extensions for too long. What business did I have getting semi-permanent brows? It just booked my emergency saline removal for these brows. My biggest beauty treatment regret ever, 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 ever was getting my eyebrows microbladed. Like I wish so badly that I didn't get them done because the process that I'm in right now is just so frustrating. I will say this, when I first got them done, they looked really good. I loved the shape and I made like a video. I was obsessed with them. However, I should have known better because they do require a little bit of maintenance. Like you have to get touch-ups. The eyebrows microbladed actually liked the results a few years later. I've actually been meaning to make a video about this because I hate mine so much. I have no product on them at all. And as you can see, it, there's like a grayish, bluish tint left over. It won't come off. It's That's just the fear I have. I'm like, what if I come back from getting my eyebrows and I'm like, I don't like them. And then now you have to go through the laser process and all of that. For me, it's just, it's just better to avoid it. But don't get me wrong, guys. Not everyone doesn't look good with microbladed eyebrows. I feel like some people really look good and they, it really transformed them. But for me personally, I just don't think it's my cup of tea. Another beauty trend that I would never participate in is eye color change. I honestly thought that people are just obsessed with contacts and that's it. But I didn't know that there are people who will actually go to the extent of getting eye surgery to change their eye color so that they can have like permanent contacts in. So I was just scrolling on TikTok and I saw these videos and I was really saddened like how people are just changing their eye colors. Some of them, don't get me wrong, they look good, but some, they just look so different. And then the person is like, oh, this is exactly what I wanted. And I'm like, what is happening? And I've also seen, this is not a trend that just started right now. I feel like we forgot about it. I have been uh, wanting this procedure for so many years and it's hard to find someone that can do this procedure. So when I found the, the 
when I found the doctor, I was very elated about having the surgery done. And it's very, it's painless. It's, it's been a... Perfeito, lindo, 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 lindo. Uma nova mulher. Okay, just saw that TikTok about the eye color change. What do you guys think about it? For me, I just feel like. Even if it's a beauty trend, I think it might have like side effects on your eyes. So for me, for the eye color change is a definitely no. I don't care how much it is of a trend. I feel like there are so many good contexts, the ones which can make you feel like you're not even wearing anything at all. I worked with a company called TTDI, I think TTDI. And also there's another one called Just For Kira. They sell contact lenses, which are are very like very very soft you know so you can wear them and if you're tired of that look you can just switch back to your normal eye colors but going to the extent of getting an eye surgery to change the color of your eyes i feel like that's extreme for me and fine thank you another beauty trend that i would never participate in is excessive lip filler i don't know since when this became a trend but I feel like at some point it can start becoming like a form of self-hate. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that having lip fillers is a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. But when it's excessive and until your lips want to look like they're bursting, it doesn't look good. I'm just asking myself. I'm also in the beauty industry and of course I do people's makeup. And there's something called consultation. Like for example, I had a bride who loved doing a dot in the middle of her face, like right here. She was just given my contacts and uh, we met during the D-Day of the wedding. And she's like, you know, I like doing the dot in the middle. And I was like, don't do it on your day. Because if we do the, the massive makeup plus the dot in the middle, she liked doing a very big dot. I told her it's not gonna look good. We had a back and forth, but she's like, Okay, then I believe you. If you do the makeup and I feel like I, I still need it, I'm going to put it. But I was like, just for your day, because long time, guys, this was back in like, I think 2019 or something. And long time ago, the makeup used to be so heavy than now. And I was like, you can do it after. But right now, since we are doing the makeup, it's, it's, it's not going to be matching. And then she was like, okay, she listened and I did her makeup and she looked good. And I don't think even after the wedding, she continued doing the dot. It's like she completely stopped. So I'm like, what is stopping these people who are doing lip fillers on women? Like, what is stopping you to tell someone like this is the amount that you're doing is more than enough. Like, you don't need a lot of lip fillers. Like, you are okay the way you are. You know, sometimes someone just needs assurance from you. Because sometimes we cannot see ourselves but you as the person who is doing that you're supposed to consult them and lead them through because you'll just see someone with excessive lip fillers it looks like it doesn't look good anyway for me personally i wouldn't do that lip fillers look great they look great if done right like in all proportions they look amazing but when it comes to a point until your lips look like they're bursting i don't think it's good and for me i don't think i would ever participate in that and yeah, it's it's good to, to consult people even when they come for your services. I feel like it's so good because, you know, at times, even if the client is always right, it's just good to tell them your opinion on what you think. Another beauty trend that I would never participate in is demo planning. But this is basically like shaving your face so that you can, it can be smooth. I know there are people who have excessive amount of hairs on their face until it creates a mustache. I've seen people who really have they don't have hairs on their faces but they still go ahead and do it the reason why number one why i wouldn't participate in this trend <laughs> i i was once also a follower of this certain trends i used to wax and all of that and i never had like hairs grow on my armpits for a long period of time until i thought that there's something wrong with me so when i went to boarding school back in high school 
and I saw like my fellow girls shaving their armpits and I was like, you know what? Even me, I'm going to pretend that I'm, I am part of that lingo and I'm going to take something and shave my armpits. Tell me why, guys. After one week, my armpit hair kept on growing from them being like baby-like hairs to them being like massive, growing every now and then. So I'm like, I also have the same type of hairs on my face. What if I follow this trend and that same thing happens to my face and I'm like, nah, I am good. <laughs> Another thing is um, sleeping with makeup on. So I was scrolling on some stories and I saw how this girl was talking about how she slept with her makeup on and I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean you're sleeping with makeup on? Like, are you guys making this a trend? Like, sleeping with makeup, literally. Dude, like, makeup can age your skin seven times faster than normal aging. Like, if you sleep with it. I don't care how expensive the foundation is. It can age you really quickly. So, I would not advise on sleeping on with makeup. Don't follow that if you want to get ready wake up early she's like yeah because the next day i was going somewhere and then i just woke up and touched my makeup up and i went to the <gasps> guys don't do that don't do that it's really really bad and back in uh, i don't know which year was this i met this woman and she told me because she did a face beat and it costed her a lot she slept with the makeup don't do that. Don't do that. You're paying the artist for her services, not for the longevity of her makeup. Don't do that, guys. It's really dangerous and it's really bad. You can even have like allergic reactions, maybe. Don't sleep with makeup. If you want to stay with makeup for so long, I feel like it's good for you to maybe do it um, very early in the morning. Stay with it the whole day and then take it out before you go to bed. This thing of sleeping with makeup trend, I don't think it's a good idea and I don't condone it. So guys, uh, that's it for the video. And I feel like those are five beauty trends that I would never participate in. If you have any other trends that you actually feel like you can never participate in despite how trendy they are, kindly leave them down below in the comment section and let's have a conversation on what you actually think about this. And I would have like takeaway points. I would say number one is know yourself. It's very, very important. Know who you are, know how you are and love who you are the way you are. And if you are to do anything on you, let it be because you think it's right for you, not because you're influenced by what other people are saying about you. Number two is hang around with the right people and choose the right partner. Because I feel like your partner or the person you're, you're in a relationship with, they can either bring, bring out the best in you or bring out the worst in you. People who just love you the way you are, people who appreciate you for who you are, they don't try to change you, they just uh, embrace you until it's time for you to, to do whatever you want with yourself. I feel like that is very important. To the point of where someone wants to alter who they are and try different things, especially when it involves surgery, it's maybe because you're hanging around with the wrong partner or you just have the wrong type of friends. I feel like also on social media, noting on what you consume is very, very important. Guys, I feel so sad because I actually know someone who had negative side effects because of what was said in the internet. Let's compliment people and be more kind. Be more kind in the social media spaces. Another thing is be aware of beauty blindness. There's this trend going on whereby you ask people, especially on TikTok, you can ask them like, what's my beauty blindness? All of us, we have beauty blindness. For me, I don't know what my beauty blindness is. Maybe I keep a lot of, maybe I keep a lot of highlighter, maybe what? So sometimes I feel like we should be aware of our beauty blindness. Even the people who are doing excessive lip fillers, maybe they don't uh, they don't know that maybe that is their beauty blindness so it's good to like check in with someone who actually cares about you and be like tell me the truth do you do you think like i'm doing something really good do you think the decision i'm about to take is okay do you think i need to change the color of my eyes and they're gonna tell you 
uh, honest and complete opinion about you. Like back in, let's say, around 2017, that was when I was actually learning how to do makeup. And I used to do like really massive eyebrows, like really massive eyebrows. So this guy just approaches me. He was like a friend of mine. And he told me, Joy, like you need to chill down on the amount of eyebrows you're doing on yourself. And let me tell you, I actually hated this guy. I was like, how do you tell me that? Like, you know, I'm doing people's... At that time, I was only doing like photo shoots, not anything major in terms of makeup. And my friends used to think that I was the real deal. I was like, how do you tell me that? How do you tell me that my eyebrows are big? How do you tell me that me, I don't know how to do eyebrows? Because I knew that uh, people used to compliment like how well I used to... I, I used to know how to do eyebrows. So, you know, you see, like, that is what beauty blindness is called. Maybe you might be doing something. To you, it might seem like, oh, it's the right thing. But when other people are looking at you, they're like, what are you doing? That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to see you guys on my next video. And bye.